So 9y plus 2 equals 6y minus 4. And that's one equation. And then we're going to solve 6y plus 14 equals 2y minus 2. So I'm going to walk you guys through this one. And then I want you all to press pause and do that one by yourselves. So walking through this one, what I want you all to think about is, wouldn't it be nice that if we got the answer? And the answer, by the way, is going to look like this. Y equals some number. Okay. So thinking about that, I want you all to think a bit of strategy here. Why don't we get all of the Ys on one side and all of the numbers on the other? And by the way, there's lots of ways of doing this. Um, as long as you add or subtract the same thing to both sides, you're, you'll be fine. Um, so what I'm going to suggest is... Just if anyone's worried about what to do first, there's lots of things to do first, by the way. You could, um, I'm just going to show everybody real quick, because I mean, like you could subtract 9y from both sides. That's fine. You could subtract 2 from both sides. That's fine. You could um, add 4 to both sides, and that's fine. And then keep going. But just keep going and do the same thing to both sides. So there's lots of different ways. Um, but you'll, and they'll all end up with giving you the same answer as long as you don't make a mistake. Um, so <laughs> I'm going to suggest get rid of that 6y though, just for fun. So let's subtract 6y from both sides for anybody that hasn't gone ahead yet. And we get 9y minus 6y, 3y plus 2 equals, and that's a negative Okay with that? Yes. And then we subtract the 2 would be the easiest thing to do because now we'll have 3y equals a negative 4 minus 2, negative 6. And y has been multiplied by 3, so divide by 3, and we get y equals negative over positive, negative over positive, negative 6 over 3, 2. Right? So... I guarantee you guys, it really doesn't matter what way you do it, because you should get y equals negative 2. And I'm just going to run through another way really quick. So I think a lot of students would probably subtract 2 from both sides. That's perfectly cool. You will get 9y equals 6y minus 6. And then um, you, will, you could subtract 6y at this point and get 3y equals negative 6, and then x is negative or y is negative 2. I'm just going to do something else, though, just for fun. I'm going to subtract 9y from both sides, right? But that's still okay, but just make sure you write the 0 here, because, look, it's 6y minus 9y, negative 3y minus 6, and then you could, like, say, add 3y to both sides if you wanted to, and then you get 3y equals negative 6, and then divide by 3, and y equals negative Two, which is the correct answer, y is negative 2. So, like, once again, guys, like, there's a lot of ways going about this. As long as you do the same thing to both sides, it'll all work out in the end. All right? So, if everyone could press pause and do this one by yourself, and then I'll run through it. It's 6y plus 14 equals 2y minus 2. You ready to go? Yes, sir. All right. So I'm going to suggest get Y's on one side, numbers on the other. So I'm going to suggest get rid of that 2Y, subtract 2Y. But again, that's not like the correct way of doing it. That's just, um, I don't know, it's just one way. There's, there's lots of ways of doing it. And as long as you guys add or subtract the same thing to both sides, we're good. So at that point, I might subtract 14. And I might get 4y equals negative 16, and then divide by positive 4 to get y is negative over positive, negative, and 16 over 4, 4. Okay with that? Yes. And I'm just going to run through another way in case anyone decided to do something like subtract 14 from both sides, which is perfectly cool. You can totally do that because that will give you 6y equals 2y minus 16, 
And then he could subtract two y from both sides and get four y's negative 16 and, and y becomes negative four. Or he could do something crazy like, I don't know, subtract six y from both sides. And again, that's okay. Just look at this, six y minus six y is zero equals negative four y minus 16. And then add 16 to both sides might be a good idea. And get 16 equals negative four y and then divide by negative 4 to get negative 4 equals y. So it doesn't matter how you solve it, as long as you do the same thing to both sides. And if you come across this situation where you've got like a 6y minus 6y or something like that, just put the 0 down and it'll all work out, right? So y is negative 4, and that's the answer there.